my name's George and welcome to Gaming My Whole Life where I can discuss everything video game related, past, present and future. Today is a past video because we are going to talk about Dead Island. More specifically, honestly, does Dead Island hold up in 2020? That's what you're here to find out. And like always, please don't forget to uh, like the video to help my little Australian channel comment to contribute to the conversation and uh, subscribe so you don't miss out. Now let's get to it. I went ahead, I reinstalled it. And just to clarify, this is the original, original Dead Island. This isn't the definitive edition, which is the graphically enhanced version. This was the original. I hadn't played it in a very long time, even though I had played it several times. And having a look, it came out in 2011. So uh, it's been nine years. It's basically been a decade since it's come out. And look, from a graphical point, I'm going to say it. It has aged. You can easily, easily tell this was a good-looking last-gen experience. This was a good-looking PS3 game. This was a good-looking 360 game, right? So it has aged. It shows these signs, you know, with strong shadows, with stiff animations. If we got a game in modern now times right if we got a game that looked like this we would be outraged because we would assume that it is a buggy mess and you know it hasn't reached the level of quality it should have that being said that being said artistically it's actually still very pretty running around the island checking out the water everything actually holds up pretty well and most most importantly because this game well, okay, at the time it was about the graphics because it was quite impressive. But even today, it is really, really fun. It absolutely holds up. This is highly recommended. So I thought I was just going to play this for just a little tiny while. You know, maybe I'll just play like 20 minutes just to remind myself and then chat about it. And uh, more than an hour later, it took everything I had to draw myself away from it because I was enjoying myself so much. And it did a really good job of reminding me what made this game so special in the first place? So, like, I think it's a lot of fun. I love video games, which you can choose how to approach the situation. And, of course, being thrust into this beautiful world where, you know, it's, it's you're on an island it's outside. It looks really nice. But then, obviously, it's gritty because you have these zombies trying to chase you. What's cool, though, is the sense of discovery and how the game goes about it. So to refresh your memory, you start in a hotel. You don't know what's going on. The first time you come across zombies, you run for it because you have no tools, no way to confront them. Story progresses a little bit, and before you know it, you have to rescue a guy who's being attacked. And you don't know how to play. You have a paddle, like, you know, what you row a boat with. You have a paddle thrust into your hands. It's like, right go save that guy so you go and you panic you're like look don't look at me the zombies see you they charge you smack them you have a good time and it was then that i noticed that in a way there's even a little bit of a nintendo vibe which is it's not too complex but what it does it does well and you learn as you go so at first i was unsteady i was trying to remember things before i knew it um you know i was beating them all up with every single weapon i was throwing them i was kicking them Man, I missed the kick. I love games with a kick. And one thing which I never noticed when I was younger, I did not notice nine years ago. Um, when you kick them, when you boot them, right, it actually shows their stamina that has been depleted. I always noticed that they would react really slowly whenever I attacked them. I'd kick them a few times. I would see, um, you know, I'd notice that I'd get up slowly. And to be frank, I'd even bully them. It was really weird. Like you'd go, you'd kick them, like, oh, I fall down slowly get it you kick them again and like I'll, I'll just toy with them you know as i spoke about like what was it like three days ago when i made that great video i'm um, talking about how zombie games you know are, are still relevant today they help push the gaming industry forward even um so keep in mind if you enjoy this video um after you've of course liked it go ahead backtrack that video i'll put a link in the description make it a bit easier for you which it basically talks about zombie games but going back Going back to Dead Island, look, it isn't a smooth experience. It's not smooth. I came across a lot of glitches and bugs that I didn't notice the first time around when I first played this. Actually, all the way back in 2011, I didn't notice it the first two, three times. But when you play it now, I guess our standards are higher. You notice an 
awful lot of pop-ins, right? Like as I'm walking, I'm seeing actual objects pop into existence. I'm seeing um, zombies clipping inside some wards and getting stuck behind some chairs, which I found a little off-putting. Not that I generally care about such a thing. What I found off-putting was the fact that I didn't notice this at all. It was not a concern. I did not care. And yet nine years later, I'm, I'm like, well, judge you. Like, hmm, you shouldn't be doing that. So that, that, that was an interesting thing to self-reflect on and be like, yeah, okay. That's the thing that I guess we didn't care about back then. And frankly, on the PS3 and 360, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. We just want, we just, you know, we're lapping up all these uh, new gorgeous experiences. And uh, this was definitely really nice eye candy. Um, speaking of the definitive edition that I said I didn't play, because I enjoyed playing this so much, I actually went ahead and bought the Definitive Edition. Um, the reason why I didn't do it when the Definitive Edition did come back is like, hey, George, if you're so into this game, why didn't you get the prettier version? Well, out of principle, and I still don't like it, but I don't know, I guess it's been so long that I'm willing to let the grudge go. But at the time when it came out, I didn't like the idea that I had already purchased um, Dead Island, right? I had already purchased it. I even purchased the other Dead Island, Dead Island Riptide. I had it on PC and I'd already maxed the graphics, right? I didn't appreciate the fact that they went ahead and they made a prettier version and then resold the game. That really, really rubbed me the wrong way. It's like, hang on, I have to rebuy the game I've already bought just so it can look a bit better? No, no, I, I, was, I wasn't cool with that. But when I started replaying it for, for this video specifically and I was just like, this is so much fun. You just mess up these zombies so bad. Everything is so satisfying, every single weapon. And, you know, it's just hilarious at times because as because every weapon you hold, you can throw, remember? So I'm standing there and I'm, I'm, throwing, I'm throwing knives, I'm throwing hammers, I'm throwing sticks, I'm throwing everything. It's just, it's just hilarious. And it doesn't even listen to real world physics at all. Like, you can find these gas canisters and a line on the beach, right? So, so it's a gas canister. Sure, if you have a gun or a fire something, you'd assume it would explode and you would assume correct. What you might not assume is you could throw, you can throw a wooden object at the canister and it's going to blow up. and It's going to be this fire explosion. Look, this game obviously isn't trying to be anything realistic. It's just meant to be a fun experience and as a friend of mine as i was making this video i showed her um you know the thumbnail that i was working on it and at first she mistook it for far cry right which i had never made the connection before but i guess you know you can actually make that comparison the first far cry you know, with, with the beach and all that and then i was like huh dead island in a way is like far cry one with zombies and that sounds good to me. That sounds very good to me. So look, if you're if you're a fan, if you've been on the fence and you haven't sure haven't been sure if you wanted to try it or if it's worth reinstalling, look, it is worth it. I am literally right after this video and after I upload it, obviously, I'm gonna go ahead and play the definitive edition because I plan on replaying the whole thing. It's just so much fun, it really holds up. So if you haven't played the game before, get the definitive edition. If you have the older one, hey, it still holds up. Go ahead and play that. You don't need to go spend any more money. With that being said, you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening. Please look after yourself, subscribe for more, and I'll see you for the next video at this uh, small little Aussie channel. All right, bye-bye.